Good morning. Buongiorno. <laughs> uh oh. No, big greasy hand on the camera. <laughs> Another beautiful day in Chatham. I've been doing some editing the last few hours. This is the splash day video, uh, but it's going to take a long time to edit this one because there's a lot of drone footage and footage from different cameras. But as it's such a sunny day and as we have family here, I'm going to go outside now and do a different job. It's not on our list, but it is important. At the moment, our boat name and SSR number are written with black pen onto masking tape, which is quite embarrassing, but it was necessary to have those on there before we left. But not for long, we've got our nice shiny new vinyl just arrived. So darling, are you happy with this? Yes, I am. <laughs> it's a one hit wonder, we don't get a second chance, so. That's beautiful, I like it. Okay, so I've just stuck it in position with the two sides. I'm following the instructions that were on the website where I bought these letters. So now, I tape. Take this this way. And in theory, I should just be able to peel this off. Oh God, I've scratched a little bit underneath the gel coat. But that will polish out. That's up to your high standard, is it, darling? Yes. Normally, whenever I do any kind of job that involves getting something straight, 
Marcella usually comes along afterwards and, and says, that's not straight, Chris. Very, very fussy. Thanks to my carelessness earlier with the Stanley knife, I'm spending ages polishing out scratches. You can see, I hope you can see, there's a very small black line down there. And basically the technique I'm using for getting rid of this, this is a lot less deep than this one. This took quite a lot of work to get out. This is quite a, a fine surface scratch, but basically I'll use the same technique. So this is 120 grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna go back and forward at 90 degrees to the scratch. And I'll keep doing that until I can no longer see any remnants of the scratch. Afterwards, I can get some bicarbonate of soda and an abrasive paste. And I'll then run that at 90 degrees to the sandpaper. And then once I've done that and I'm happy that there are no scratches, I'll just get a little bit of the fine abrasive paste there and I'll just go in circular motions just to polish it up. And then I will have undone the damage that it took me about two seconds to do earlier on today. Well, we've come for a walk to Upna, which is a beautiful village with um, with a castle and some really pretty old houses. Look at this. These cottages are really quaint. I would have to duck to get through the front door there. And I'm not a particularly tall guy. Really very cute. Sucking her thumb, aren't she? She's sucking her thumb. Yeah. Look at all these lovely children. All the kids, look. Look at all the children. Look at that. You want to put those in your bags for me? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is one I've done earlier. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
Ha, 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 ha.